In this video, I am going to talk about uh, mobile typography with respect to web design or responsive web design. Now you can see whenever you try to design a website, uh, you cannot use the same heading size you have used on a desktop version or a tablet version. Uh, the same size, you cannot shift that on a mobile because mobile screen is very small. So if you try to use a very big typeface, it is going to shift into four or five lines or one heading is going to cover the whole screen which we don't want. So uh, we have to create two type scales. We have to shift our sizes, different sizes on mobile screens and different sizes a little bit on uh, tablet devices and different scale type scale for our website which is desktop version bigger size. So let's get started. I'm going to show you a, little, a lot of tips. So let's get started. So this is actually uh, a recent project I did. You can see over here, this is the biggest heading size, which is I think 36 uh, or 32 pixels. So this is my main heading. This is actually uh, my text and I think it was 16. So I'm using 32 and 16 for my body text. Now, um, let me show you my tablet device over here. And you can see I'm using the same uh, heading, but the size is now shifted to 28 bold rather than 32. So I shifted four points below for the main heading. Similarly, for my text, I am using uh, 15, 15 pixels rather than 16 pixels for my body text. Similarly, if I look at these are for tablet devices. So if I look if you look at this mobile device my same designs You can see let's zoom into this one. So it is actually shifted to 24 So same heading same biggest heading heading one has three sizes for three different screens This is what we are going to do in our actual projects projects so whenever you designing you are designing for a website you have to shift your sizes similarly you can see I think it is 14 so on my mobile device I am using uh, 14 pixels for my body text so this is the first step you have to use different scales different type sizes you have to shift them down on smaller devices not too much they must be readable easily so uh, let me show you how I actually do it. So uh, we are again back to the modular scale.com. Let's close this one. So for example, I selected my base font to be, let's say 18 pixels. Okay. And I try to use 1.5 for my main scale for my desktop. So now you can see I have 12 pixels, smaller one. 18, 27, 41, uh, 61. I think these are the most usable. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I have actually 5, just 5 steps of my scale. So um, this is very, uh, you can say, very small scale. So what I will do, I will shift a little bit back. I am going to use 1.4. So let's see, we have 13 over here, 18, then we have 25, 35, 50, and 70. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6. So we have 6 sizes over here. So let's go ahead and create another scale. So I'm going to click over here on the right, add scale. And here we have another scale. Right now this one is highlighted. So let's change the value and let's use uh, 25 as our base and I'm going to use a ratio of 1.2. So 1.4 to 1.2 actually I have divided the um, uh, over here the fraction 0.4 and divided by 2. So this is going to be my second scale. So we have new sizes over here. You can see over here we have 15 or uh, 14. 17, 20, 25, 30, 36, 43, 51. So we are going to write down a scale. We have all these sizes and all these sizes. So we are going to mix them together and use them into different, uh, create a whole scale. Similarly, if you want to use the same 18, that is good too. 
So you can see over here, here we have 13, 18, 25. And if we look at over here, here we have 13 and 15. So we have got another size over here between these two, 15, 18, and then we have 22. Uh, before 25, then we have 26, which is against again 25. Actually, we will use either 26 or 25. Then we have 31 just before 35. 37, 44, 53. So these are two, you can mix them together. You can create a whole scale uh, and use that in your uh, websites for different, different uh, screen sizes. So if you are designing for uh, mobile screen you have to use smaller group of sizes and if you are using uh, designing for tablet you have to shift a little bit smaller and then on desktop you can use your regular size oops okay so you can see this is the latest design I did we have already produced uh, it's uh, you can say we have already released this this has been uh, given to the client uh, that is that is all about my tips you uh, second tip is that if you want to uh, check your uh, type size try to view this website on an actual device try to uh, show the prototype open the prototype on your actual device and see how big is this text whether it's too big whether it's too small is it easily readable or not this is really necessary I actually do it for my testing purpose and uh, uh, that is all that is all I think that is all you need to know about mobile typography and designing for responsive websites so I hope you have enjoyed this lesson you have learned a lot if you have any questions do ask me see you soon in another video till then take care and